Hi, and welcome to my kitchen and another helping of my favorite foods. Today, it's all about potatoes, French style. We're gonna make a potato galette that has three ingredients. Sounds fancy, but super easy to make. Let's get going on the potato galette. I use a crepe pan. It seems to be the best uh, size, and the sides of it are actually shallow, so steam escapes, that's key. What I wanna show you is the kind of fat that I'm gonna use. It's French, don't be afraid. We're going in with the heavy hitters. A little bit of butter, and a little bit of duck fat. Yes, duck fat and potatoes. If you have not discovered that, you haven't lived. And just some thyme is beautiful. Any kind of a, a woody herb like this. And potatoes, that's it. Three ingredients, seasoning, and you're gonna be a star. What I wanna do is get a mandolin. So if you don't have a mandolin, you can certainly do this uh, in a food processor with the slicing blade. What you wanna do is get super thin potatoes. And I've peeled these. I'm using a beautiful organic Yukon Gold. And I can adjust the thickness of it. You wanna be super careful with your fingers here. This is what I call a no recipe recipe because you basically have as many potatoes as you can fit in your pan, a little bit of seasoning, as much fat as you want, and some herbs. I don't put these back into the water because I want that starch from the potato to hold it together to create the galette. Now going into the pan with a little bit of butter. French style, a little bit of butter. And a little bit of duck fat. Oh, mama. It seems like a fair bit of fat, but this is probably, I would say, two to three tablespoons, and you're only gonna get a wedge of this. That's the thing about French recipes. A lot of butter, generally, or fat, but you don't eat huge amounts of it. So what I wanna do now is just take my fresh thyme that I've taken the sprigs off. It's gonna start popping here a bit. A little bit of moisture in. And now I start from the edge of my pan and I just go all the way around, overlapping. I season this and it's important that my temperature is high. I'm going to get a little bit of browning from that butter. It will start to turn what the French call noisette or hazelnut. I can smell it. I don't want it to be burning but it's going to start to brown. All right I'm going to hit it with some pepper and a little bit more thyme and what I do is take my palette knife, my offset palette knife, and I press it down. What you want to do here is just get a little practice with this because you want the butter and the duck fat, which by the way smells unbelievable right now, to kind of keep at a certain temperature so the potato doesn't stick beneath it. You want it to be brown uh, and you want it to be equally cooked on both sides. So I'm going to just show you what I'm looking for here. I'm going to take my palette knife, see it's loose. And if I show you there, oh, you see that? It's starting to get nice and caramelized. I can feel that the potatoes are still loose. So if I left this right here the way it is, it's gonna burn on the bottom and it's not gonna cook inside. So what's my secret? It's going into the oven. So 350 to 375 on the Fahrenheit scale with a fan or convection. And I'm gonna let that kind of just cook through for about five or so minutes. Then we're gonna do the big flip. All right, four to five minutes later. Look at that, baby. So I just want to take my palette knife around the edge, make sure that it's loosened. All right, so I needed to do that. And guess what we're doing now? I want to do a nice big flip in the air to make sure I got the other side. Ready? Oh, that's a galette, baby. Is that sweet or what? The galette just basically means kind of like a tart. You can see how crisp 
and brown that potato is on that side. It's about three quarters cooked now, so I'm gonna try and finish it in the, in the pan here. I wanna get that other side just as golden. So five minutes on side one, probably two to three on this side, and then the galette is finished. Now I can feel that it's crisp on the bottom as well, but I just wanna ensure that it is. My palette knife. Who wants potato chips when you can have this? <laughs> I'm speechless, it smells so good. You're gonna love this recipe. So I would serve this just like this, probably on a board with some grilled meat. It's fantastic with duck, actually. But anything, even roast chicken, it will bring roast chicken to new heights. I know you want me to taste it. Do you hear that crunch? Oh, yeah. It's too hot, but I don't care. I'm still gonna eat it. Ridiculous. It's off the chart. It is such a great combination. Just the potatoes, a little bit of duck fat. I know you're gonna enjoy this. Make sure you join me next time for another helping of my favorite foods. See ya. Whoa, baby.